Some scary video showing the moments as flash floods swept through the Far East Valley over the weekend. The floods stemming from burn scars left by the telegraph fire. Team Charles Bianca Bono is talking tonight with one of the families trapped during the flooding. We can't even open the doors to try and escape. Look at the creek over there rushing. As Chris Holyoke recorded this video from his home in Globe Sunday. Oh my God, Bonnie, come look at the front yard. He didn't know if he and his sister Bonnie would make it out alive. I just started to cry and I was like, I literally got on my knees and I started praying. Flash floods forcefully flowing through the area. That's our front porch. Chris and Bonnie trapped inside the four walls of their home. See the truck over there? See the water rushing? See that furniture over there? That was on our front porch. Their truck and only way to escape washing away in front of their eyes. Tortured as the water filled with debris began to take over the inside of their home too. It's getting bad, people. Thankfully, it eventually subsided, but the damage was already done to their home and more than a dozen others in Gila County. It's pretty, pretty devastated out here. The flash floods stemming from fires, in this case, the Telegraph Fire, which burned 180,000 acres in the area. The flames stopped but made their mark, leaving burn scars behind. So typically when rain falls, some of that water is absorbed by the ground and the rest runs off. In the burn scar areas, the soil is much harder and is similar to pavement where it doesn't absorb any water at all. These siblings the still shaken up, but note they have an entire community of people supporting them. Now looking ahead, preparing for the worst in case the floods flow again. If you know it's monsoon season, you better sandbag. And I mean sandbag at least three to four feet deep. And experts say an area can be more susceptible to flash flooding in the first one to two years following a wildfire. But in some cases, it can take three to four years for an area to fully recover. Bianca Bono, 12 News.